Hi, my name is Natalie Lamb. I work in innovation in the water industry. So my work is all about making water safer to drink, um, about making sewage better treated so that it's entering rivers uh, in a safe and controlled manner and is basically clean. So yeah, I'm Natalie, I'm from a science background and I'm all about water. I wouldn't say that I really got into my career following a specific path or a ladder or anything like that. I was just following things that I was enjoying, things that I didn't really know a lot of, about. My current role I actually got because of someone I knew from LinkedIn. So I'm really interested in like organising events. And I do that in my spare time for different society bodies. And this guy just reached out to me on LinkedIn and said, you know, there's this job going. I thought you'd be good for it. It's, you know, a lot of travelling around, a lot of presenting. Do you fancy it? And I was sort of like, yeah. So in terms of my wider career, it was never planned. I was just following things that I enjoyed. My typical working day, um, so at the moment I'm doing a lot of working from home, um, but my work innovation, it's all about getting out and speaking to people. So I go to conferences and I go to these conferences, I go to events and I give presentations to lots and lots of people like sort of you know, maybe 50 people, maybe hundreds of people, maybe internationally. I've spoken in Mexico. I've spoken in Toronto and Canada. Um, I love I love sort of speaking about the work that I'm doing. Um, I also go on a lot of site visits. So the um, the projects that I'm running in different companies. So the technologies that I'm that I'm using at the moment, um, we set them up in different companies. And then I go to those companies. I do site visits and sort of say, is the device working? Is it providing useful information? Is it doing what it's supposed to do? Is it improving people's water or is it not? Um, so my typical working day, sometimes I'm at home and answering and receiving like a lot, a lot of emails from people to say, you know, the trial is working, what's the sort of days that we're getting by. And some of the days I, I'm out and about and I'm traveling. So like next week, I'm doing this big old travel. Um, I'm going like to near Manchester way and then I'm going up to Scotland and then back down by Newcastle and back home where I live in the east. So, yeah, sometimes a lot of travel, sometimes a lot of office work, but I love the variation in what I do. That's what I'm really interested in. What was I like at school? So at school, I was super, super quiet. Like I barely even spoke to my friends. Um, if a teacher asked me a question and I knew the answer, no way would I put my hand up and actually tell them that I knew the answer. So you might be thinking, how is it that I'm this, this sort of person who's going around the world presenting at conferences and things? And um, I think the answer for me is I really, really slowly came out of my shell quite a lot. Um, it's a real big, it's one of the greatest achievements of my life, I think, is going from this person who literally never spoke at all at school. Like I could get away with murder because I just wouldn't speak to anyone. Um, to this person who's now able to, to go out there and speak to people and present and you know, at conferences and things, I'm the person going up to people who I've never spoken to before and saying like, hi, how are you doing? Are you OK? Um, you know, because I know what it's like to be that that shy person who doesn't speak to anyone, I think. So I sort of take that on board um, when I'm speaking to others. Um, I'm really proud of that. How has studying an A-level in science helped me in my career? Um, so when I was choosing my A-levels, um, I just really went with the subjects that I was interested in um, and that I I, I enjoyed. Um, I didn't really have a career pathway in mind. Like I wanted to be all sorts of different things, all sorts of different stages. At one point I wanted to be a doctor. At one point I wanted to be a teacher. Um, at one point I wanted to be a scientist. I had no idea what it was I actually wanted to do. Um, but yeah, I took my A-levels. Uh, I took biology as an A-level as well as like uh, English language. I took sociology. I took psychology. I had a lot of like different interests. Um, and I ended up choosing biology as a degree just because I really enjoyed biology. And compared to the other subjects I was taking, I found that I was really good at it as well. So I found that it was kind of easy at the same time as being really enjoyable and really exciting. So as an example, um, as a contrast, like at GCSE, music absolutely loved music GCSE loved it two pieces but it was the hardest thing on the planet I could not do it I could not get my head around it, it took me so much work to to even do anything music related um but yeah this biology this science I found that I could actually do it and I was kind of like a natural to science when I wasn't a natural to music and um, so it's really helped in my career because it helped me choose biology as my degree um and you know, I, I, I did this degree and I really enjoyed it. And it was still, even if it's just one subject, it was still really, really open. So some days I was like digging holes in the Brecon beacons to see the different soil profiles. 
Um, and then other times I was studying like tropical fish and I could walk into any sort of aquarium and tell you exactly what the fish were and stuff. So um, I think choosing biology really helped to sort of like narrow my interest, but not really. It's still like a really broad topic. So yeah, that's all thanks to doing my, my A-level biology, really. The transferable skills that I need to do my job, presentation skills are really important. You've got to be able to speak to people. You've got to be uh, patient. Um, sometimes people don't reply to you um, and you've got to be you've got to be patient you've got to wait a while you've got to be friendly at all times um, because at the end of the day I've got this technology I'm trying to run all these different projects and all these different companies but that's not always their primary aim do you know what I mean so I've got to make sure that I, I am friendly I'm patient I, I'm speaking to people having a chat with people and um, these are all really important skills I've also got to be super duper organised. And again, like if I was talking to my school self, I would never in a million years believe I'd be this organised because I could never even remember what day of the week it was, what subject I was supposed to be going to without the help of my friends. Like my friends would call me a little scatter brain. Um, but now I'm I'm super, super organised. So I always know um, what projects are running in what companies, who the people are that I need to be speaking to to run those projects where the locations of the site visits are because otherwise i just set off driving and get lost in the middle of nowhere um so yeah i would say um that the organization the being able to present and be friendly and be positive um and being patient i think those are some really important transferable skills in my job and finally my best piece of advice for young people would be don't worry too much about your future career you're young um you know even so i'm i'm 28 now right i'm a i'm a scientist i work in innovation and water but i'm literally one of the youngest people in my field um and a little while ago sort of six months ago i didn't have a job and i was looking for a job and i didn't really know what i wanted to do and i had all these requests i had all these offers from people like working in in the power industry in oil industry and you know, it's never too late to to change career and to be working on something different. And even though you're coming across as one particular personality right now, it doesn't mean that that's all you have to be. You know, you can do absolutely anything with your life and, and anything that you choose to be. So I would say, you know, even if you're dead set on something now, even if everything completely goes to pot, everything gets screwed up, it'll all be OK in the end. Um, so that's me. I have been Natalie Lamb, um, a scientist in innovation in the water industry thanks very much for for hearing me talk today i hope you enjoyed this thanks bye